hi once again and welcome back to my youtube channel to this evening we are going to be looking the u.s military has just been authorized to use lethal force on u.s citizens in matters of national security duty intelligence and intelligence related activities and defense intelligence components assistant to law enforcement agency and other civil authorities effective september 27 2024 office of the under secretary of defense of intelligence and security so they have a declarance for public use so this just brings my eyes right back to revelation 13 verse 11 and he spake as a dragon right that is what revelation 13 11 says and he behold another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and he speak like a dragon we may see coming up upon us now and i beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and he speak like a dragon right so what we are seeing here is the lamb is starting to act like a dragon in that the u.s military is now authorized to use force and u.s military is bullets right so you know what kind of force we're talking about the u.s military is, is prohibited from being used against u.s citizens within the united states unlaw no. forbids the use of american military forces to impose domestic law without express authority from congress this long-standing policy has just been abandoned today we have unelected officials unilaterally you issuing directives allowing the use of u.s military against its citizens and it's all in conjunction with the upcoming elections all right now people are saying biden is saying that if in the upcoming elections if um if he loses if trump loses trump may have more riots and so on the united states which is regarded as the most powerful military force in the world is now permitted to support local law enforcement in matters of national security according to a new directive signed on september 27th right by kathleen heck the depart the deputy secretary of defense and a joe biden appointee we must ask ourselves if the current administrators administration unilateral, unilateral decision to use u.s military against its citizens is truly an attempt to defend our nation or is it only intended to further consolidate power and erode the fundamental rights to free speech assembly and protest now these are very interesting times that are coming up in america and we just have to keep our eyes on it right because the spirit of prophecies did talk about in um the bible here it's saying it's clear saying that and he speak like a dragon oh, how does a dragon speak with fire <laughs> you understand so we are seeing where this is what is coming upon us well not us but those of you guys that are in the states you know and i'm, I'm encouraging you guys to come out of the big cities you know avoid large gatherings because most times in large gatherings you have unfortunate events taking place right um i mean you, you need to stay communal but not in a big city you know there's strength in numbers but you see when you're in a big city I, what do you think about this subject matter will there be protests after the election is the dragon now speaking let's hear i want to hear from you guys like share and subscribe let's let me hear what you have to say on this issue and remember we are in the last days all right wrapping up time is very 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 soon right so let me hear from you guys say it in the comment section please like share and subscribe and remember the truth is the truth